The Fantastic Four. Duel with Dr. Doom. A normal day at the Baxter Building, headquarters of the world-famous Fantastic Four. Hey, Stretcho, where do you want this gizmo? Put it over there, Ben. Gee, where did I leave my hot chocolate? I used my powers to make it invisible, and now I can't find it. Ugh, it got cold, Johnny. Don't worry, sis, I'll warm it up for you. <laughs> Suddenly... We interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. Dr. Doom is in town today to give a speech at the United Nations. Oh, uh -oh. oh. I'll bet that bozo is up to no good. Dr. Doom is our most fiendish foe. We fought him before. And if we have to, gang, we'll fight him again. Meanwhile, at the United Nations... I am here to make you all an offer that you dare not refuse. Either make me the king of every country on earth, the supreme ruler of the world, or I will destroy the planet. This is my anti-matter missile. Across the sea, in my own country of Latveria, it stands ready to launch. I have only to give the order and the Earth will come to an end. <laughs> Far out in space, surrounded by nothingness, are found atoms of antimatter. When this strange substance touches anything at all, big or small, like a molecule or a moon, it explodes. A black hole is created. I sent a rocket into space with a special scoop to bring me some antimatter in a vacuum. If a single atom of antimatter comes in contact with any real matter on Earth, the explosion will rip the planet apart, and nothing can stop it. <laughs> so you see, if I can't have complete control of the world, no one can. I will be waiting for your answer at my castle. You have 24 hours to decide. Do you want Dr. Doom to rule the world? Or destroy it? <laughs> what can we do? We must turn to a team of superheroes for help. That can even the Fantastic Four save us in time. Soon. Last one into the fantastic car is a rotten egg. Aw, oh, nuts. I knew it. Doc Doom wanting to rule the world is bad enough, but making me miss Saturday afternoon football is the last straw. <laughs> We've got to pay a visit to Dr. Doom. But which way did we go? There he is. We've found our fiend. But what's he doing? Doom's firing some kind of cooling ray at us. Like sitting ones up here. I hate to admit it, but we've just been shot down by Dr. Doom. Serves us right for flying over Latveria in a crummy floating bathtub. Time to bail out and flame on! Oh, goodbye, cruel world! Don't worry, Ben. I've got you. All I have to do is use my power to stretch a human parachute. But what about Sue? Look out, y'all! <laughs> I always bounce back. They should call you the Fantastic Fools. You're no match for me. Heads up, you Halloween reject. Let's see how you can take the heat. Great balls of fire. It's the human torch. I'll show you how to fight fire with foam. Help me. Help, my flame's going out. I'm falling. Have no fear. Mr. Fantastic is here. I can stretch the catch. When I win, instead of calling it Earth, I'm going to rename the whole world. <laughs> so what if you're stronger than me, Thing? I'm smarter. What good are muscles against gas? <laughs> <laughs>
Someone's got to stop you, Dr. Doom. So it might as well be me. You'll never break free of my bonds. This may shock you, Mr. Fantastic. But I'm wired for electricity. See? That flower pot. Floating all by itself. I didn't see anyone stick it on my head. I'm going to trip you up, Doc. <laughs> I know how to find you. All it takes is a squirt of paint. I've got you now, invisible girl. Now you're all prisoners of Dr. Doom. What are you going to do with us? You four fools and everyone else on Earth are going to die. My antimatter missile is blasting off, and you can't stop it. That's what you say, Tin Can Man. But you've got another thing coming. I tore the whole blade tailpiece off, but I couldn't keep the missile on the ground. <laughs> then you're too late, Thing. Too late to prevent what I call my Big Bang Theory. Dr. Doom, you amaze me. All right. If I only got a few more minutes to live, I ain't got nothing to lose. I'm gonna pound you to pieces, Doom, if it's the last thing I do. Ah! Oh! We've got to get free and help Ben defeat Doom. As a team this time. All I've got to do is get up ahead of Steve. Wow! Oh, it worked! I got boiling mad and all the water evaporated! Flame on! Torch! Hurry! Burn through the ropes that hold me! Sure thing, sis! Now that I'm free, we all untie you too! That's what I call teamwork. Four against one is not fair! Neither is wanting to wreck the whole world just because you can't be boss. I've got to run! You're not going anywhere, Doom. I melted the floor. You're stuck to the spot. Torch, you're a brat. But I'll get even with more gas. No, you won't, Doom. Not when Mr. Fantastic can form into a fan and blow it back in your face. I can still electrocute anyone who comes near me. Not if I drown you with a metal lamp first. Face it, Doom. You're short-circuited. And, just to make sure, here's the knockout punch. It's clobbering time! Well, gang, we did it as a team. We beat Doc Doom. Yeah, for all the good it does, the world's still gonna come to an end. No, it isn't. While you were trying to stop the missile, Ben, I stretched a long finger over to the control panel behind Doom's back. I changed the course of the missile, causing it to blow up safely in space. We did! The Fantastic Four defeated Dr. Doom and saved the world!